Welcome to this session of uh, Biochemistry. This is Suresh Kumar Paswan, Assistant Professor in GSITS in Dor. Today we are going to discuss on cholesterol metabolism and why we are going to study about this particular chapter. Why this chapter is very important for us, uh, why we are going to study this thing. Because uh, this cholesterol, it is a very important molecule. Uh, these are the components of, uh, this plays as an important role in the component of cell membrane. Uh, it is a precursor of steroids, hormones, vitamin D. What we, uh, you, uh, this vitamin D is very important. Like uh, the, the calcium is, cannot be absorbed from absorbed as such, so vitamin D is required for that one. It plays an important role as a structure of lipoprotein, and these lipoprotein these are helpful in transporting the fatty acids or uh, as a transporting agent. And the liver, like uh, the cholesterol, they cannot be transported as such. Uh, but the fatty acid are not cannot be transported as such. They require some uh, carrier, so this cholesterol plays important role in transferring the things. Um, steroid, steroid hormones, these are all things which are been uh, uh, prepared. Or uh, the precursor is the cholesterol. And uh, you know the cell membrane, uh, the fluid mosaic model. You people have studied about that thing. So the fluidic structure, uh, the lipoprotein structures are uh, there, or uh, the hydrophilic and lipophilic chains are there. There, so uh, these uh, uh, cholesterol it plays it gives rigidity to that cell membrane. So it's a very important part. So talking about its source and utilization from where uh, these cholesterol has been sourced. So cholesterol these are sourced nearly about uh, thousand milligram of uh, cholesterol is always there in the liver, and it is sourced from the uh, from dietary source and from synthesis uh, cholesterol synthesis metabolism. Uh, anabolic metabolisms are there and from various hepatic tissues it comes and it has been utilized uh, in bile so as a bile salt in bile uh, it is lost as a uh, uh, in bile and uh, in, uh, uh, in the synthesis of lipoprotein it has been used so talking about the synthesis of cholesterol so cholesterol uh, I am not getting much deep inside the synthesis of cholesterol the cholesterol, uh, uh, the precursor of uh, the cholesterol is acetyl-CoA, which we have studied in our earlier classes, and it gets converted in HMG-CoA uh, in uh, the synthesis of fatty acid. You have studied about this one, HMG-CoA, how it has been synthesized, and uh, from HMG-CoA mevalonate, uh, how the mevalonate has been synthesized in your uh, ketone synthesis. You will have, have studied about this one, and uh, one in, in important enzyme, this particular enzyme. Uh, this uh, HMG CoA reductase. This particular enzyme uh, is very important for pharmacy students. Like uh, the statins are there. The statins, uh, uh, statins. These are uh, the compounds which are used to uh, used to block this HMG CoA reductase. And uh, the the synthesis of cholesterol will stop here. And uh, uh, from mavalonate, isoperanoid uh, units have been uh, synthesized. And from isoperanoid, uh, nearly about six isoperanoid units, they condense and it forms squalene. This is the basic molecule from where uh, the structure of cholesterol, uh, the shape of cholesterol uh, starts taking place. And from squalene, uh, lanosterol has been prepared. And from lanosterol, uh, again, one uh, 7 d hydroxy. Uh, hydrocholesterol is been synthesized and from 7 dehydrocholesterol uh, cholesterol is been synthesized and uh, these are used uh, the cholesterol uh, it has been used in synthesizing of bile acids the bile acid uh, they are present in the bile duct which is in present there in the liver these are 24 carbon chain uh, carbons near 24 carbons are been required two three hydroxyl groups are there and steroid nucleus uh, which is present in the uh, cholesterol is there. These uh, uh, bile acids are amphipathic. They have both the uh, part, uh, hydrophilic and lipophilic part. Hydrophilic part is the hydroxyl group and the remaining steroid structure is there, which is a lipophilic part. It also used as an emulsifying agent. These bile acids are used as emulsifying agent uh, and they emulsify the food, uh, uh, the fatty food, lipids, whatever you, we use to take, oils and they emulsify and helps in digestion. The bile acids, uh, the number of bile acids, there are a lot of, um, lot of different kind of molecules are there in bile acids. Uh, uh, 
uh, like uh, your uh, cholic acid, decolic, uh, deoxycholic acid, uh, gluco uh, uh, glucocorticoids are there, uh, taurocholic acids are there. So all these uh, bile acids are there. So structure uh, when you talk about the structure of bile acid, mainly the uh, cholesterol is the precursor, and uh, like here uh, when we make a change. Like uh, this is the cholesterol structure, and if we make a change, that double bond is been removed from here, and <coughs> hydroxyl, two hydroxyl groups are added. Uh, three hydroxyl groups have been added. So it forms cholic acid. Uh, likewise, decoxycholic acid, quinodeoxycholic acid, lithocholic acid, glycocholic acid. Here, glycine has been attached, and in taurocholic acid, taurine has been attached. These are the structure of bile acids. Uh, talking about the synthesis of bile acids uh, from cholesterol in the presence of alpha, uh, 7 alpha hydrolase enzyme the hydroxy uh, cholesterol has been synthesized 7 hydroxy cholesterol has been synthesized and uh, from 7 hydroxy uh, cholesterol uh, in several steps the cholic acid has been synthesized this cholic acid uh, in the presence of glycine in the presence of glycine, glycocholic acid has been synthesized. So this particular portion, this portion is a glycine portion. And uh, again in the intestinal bacteria, it gets converted into deoxycholic acid. Same way uh, in uh, this cholic acid, in the presence of taurine. So this is the taurine structure. So it has been attached uh, to this cholic acid and uh, taurocholic acid has been formed. Likewise, uh, again uh, this cholic acid uh, in presence of uh, uh, glyce uh, in several steps it forms quinodeoxycholic acid and this quinodeoxycholic acid in presence of glycine it forms glycoquinodeoxycholic acid uh, and uh, uh, in presence of intestinal bacteria lithodeoxycholic acid has been formed. Likewise, uh, in presence of taurine, tauric, quinodeoxycholic uh, acid, acid has been synthesized. Next, coming to the synthesis of hormones, so another part like bile acids, uh, we have studied the bile acid, uh, in the, the, the role of the bile acid was to emulsify uh, whatever the food we used to take, the, the lipid part of the food what we used to take. And the next one is the synthesis of hormone. There are a lot of hormones are there uh, in our body like progesterone, tre te testosterone, estrogen, uh, all those things uh, uh, are been synthesized by, they have a steroid uh, structure. So those st steroid structure uh, are been synthesized by the cholesterol. So cholesterol, it gets converted into pregnenolone and pregnenolone gets converted into progesterone. And from progesterone, uh, the cortisol, aldosterone, estradiol has been synthesized. Then uh, the another part was the synthesis of vitamin D. Vitamin D3, actually uh, uh, this uh, 7 d hydroxy cholesterol. This was a product which was involved in the synthesis of cholesterol. Okay, this was the product which was is involved in the synthesis of uh, cholesterol, dehydrocholesterol. It uh, gets converted into coal de, uh, calci, uh, coal calciferol. Here uh, one. Uh, uh, bond has been attached. So this uh, cholesterol, it forms dehydroxy cholesterol with this particular bond. And uh, in presence of UV light, uh, UV light or sunlight, we can say it gets converted. The, so the seven dehydroxy cholesterol gets converted into coal calciferol or vitamin D3. This is a very important molecule which is involved in the absorption of your, your calcium. And the, you know, calcium is important for your bones. It is also uh, act as a uh, uh, as a joining agent for the two cells. Like uh, in tight junctions, this uh, uh, calcium ions are there. So uh, all these things uh, we have uh, taken uh, from Leninger and uh, the biochemistry by Satyendra Chakrapani. I hope uh, I would have made some sense. Uh, so uh, thanks for listening. I hope you will still be you will be following the government rules for uh, lockdown and uh, stay safe stay healthy thank you thank you for listening